Yeah. God damn it, you did so quick off the mark, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, we're, 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 no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Um, What's the mill get started? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, this is heating up. So originally, we, we had a report that Nelson, Nelson Peltz and Tryon Fund Management, their bid for seats has been rejected. Mm. And then Disney responded. What's happened is Nelson Peltz obviously went to try to get more board seats, quite a few, actually, and he was in a very strong position to... Disney has officially refused those board seats. Officially refused them. Uh, fascinating stuff. Now, now some people has gone, okay, that's fine. We're going to formally take all of this to the shareholders and let them decide then. Huh. That's going to be fun. So what happened, right? Nelson Peltz Try and Fund Management, which owns about $3 billion of stock in Disney, said today it plans to take its case for change at the media giant directly to shareholders after the company rejected its request for a board seat. This morning, this is a direct quote from them, this morning, following conversations with Disney CEO, uh, Disney extended an offer to Tryan to meet with the board, but informed Tryan that the board is turning down Tryan's recent request for board representation, including Nelson Peltz. Uh, so the activist, I say, I, he's the least activist. He's a businessman. The billionaire businessman is very much in Disney's hair right now for the second time. Uh, can I stop you for one second there? Uh, activist Quick, in, activist on investor it. is actually a term in finance. Uh, it has nothing to do with with purple haired crazy people crying for communism. I know. It only means I'm, a shareholder that is trying to uh, change I know, the course but, of the company. But yeah. But it's, yeah, I know, but the negative connotations there, they know why they used in that. They know yeah. why. Um, double, double meaning. But they say, this is direct quote again from them. Since we gave Disney the opportunity to prove it could right the ship last February, up to our re-engagement weeks ago, shareholders have lost $70 billion of value. Disney's share price has underperformed proxy peers and the broader market over uh, every relevant period during the last decade and over the tenure of each incumbent director. Big stab at Bob Iger. Investor confidence is low, key strategic questions loom, and even Disney CEO is acknowledging that the company's challenging challenges are greater than they previously believed. While James Gorman and Sir Jeremy DeRock represent an improvement from the status quo, the addition of these directors will not, in our view, restore investor confidence or address the root cause behind the significant value destruction and missteps that the board has overseen. Tryon intends to take our case for change directly to the shareholders. I love it. And then they responded. <laughs> and they responded. Their, Disney's response is the most impotent, limp dick thing I've seen in my life. Oh, I can't wait for this. I haven't read it. I'm, oh, I'm coming from King Karen Bob, I can imagine. It's so pathetic. So Disney acknowledged today Activist investor Nelson Peltz plans to go directly to shareholders to seek a seat on the board, but noted he is in partnership with Isaac Perlmutter, a former Disney executive. Mr. Perlmutter owns 78%, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, where was the actual statement? Oh, here you go. Sorry. It's so bloody small. It's barely there. Uh, where is the quote? Oh, here you go. Um in partnership with Isaac Perlmutter, a former Disney executive, Mr. Perlmutter owns 78% of the shares that Mr. Peltz claims beneficial ownership of, or more than 25 million of the 33 million shares. This dynamic is relevant to assessing Mr. Peltz and any other nominees he may put forth as directors, as Mr. Perlmutter was terminated from his employment by Disney earlier this year and has voiced his longstanding personal agenda against Disney CEO Bob Iger, Robert A. Iger, which may be different than that of all other shareholders. I think most shareholders will probably agree with Ike Perlmutter, to be honest. I yeah. think so too. Yeah. Because, uh, because um, Ike Perlmutter, there was more Ike there was Perlmutter more. is one of the most successful businessmen there ever yeah. was. There was a, there was a bigger statement than this because they commented on, they commented on uh, board seats as well. Uh, Disney of, remove some of this stuff annoyingly because there was more before so uh that's really annoying really really annoying unless this is what they've have they added it here disney is moving from a period of fixing to a new era of building you're not done with the fixing 
iTunes. You're not done with the fix. Yeah, you yeah. fixed nothing. No, that's not it. So they've they've removed some of it. That's really annoying. How strange. Oh, they've added they more mean stuff. fixing in the criminal way. Yeah. Yeah. True. Oh, they've added more stuff. They've literally added more stuff. Yeah, there's more stuff. If you go down, uh, Nate, head down. It says previously. Yes, yeah, so but that's the last original stuff, yeah. story. Yeah, so that, that's the stuff we've already covered. But they've added yeah. even more now. Yeah. So they say there's a qualification on a level that is required to sit on the Disney's board, and the board makes decisions about who's qualified and who isn't qualified to be on the board. And if Nelson officially requests the board seat, I'm sure the board will go through a process to determine whether he is, whether he should have a role on the board or not. But it's not like we've got a number of empty seats. Come on in, join the Disney board, have have fun. Yeah. Uh, this is Bob Iger saying yesterday yeah, during it the. Be, uh, uh, it would appear that the qualifying factor to be on the Disney board yeah, is got are it. you friendly with Bob Iger? And when Bob Iger says oh, yeah. jump, will you ask <clears throat> how high? That is the qualification to be on the board. Oh, and you also need to be a CEO and something else or something. But the most yeah. important thing is you need to be a friend and loyal to Bob Iger. This is the qualification. So there was a. There was a seemingly a bigger uh, element with respect to this statement on board seats but the thing is they, they basically commented that there's no available board seats or something and it's like well yeah because you literally just gave two board seats away so there would have been but you literally just gave two new board seats away to someone else or something like that. Did, they, did nice. they replace two board members or did they expand they replaced one and then gave another one Right, so they expand okay. new one. Yeah, exactly. So basically, yeah. they're packing the board. So they're because yeah. that that only means that they are anticipating that uh, he's probably going to be successful in getting like one or two people in. But then I got another ally in as well to mm. create more board members, so each one has less power. Meaning that if yeah, Health yeah. were to get in, he would have less power than he does right now. All of this is a desperate person that's trying to secure his foothold on power that's what we're seeing here it's so funny i mean this is going to go nuclear now though i mean that's yeah like this is this is all out disney war well i got a yeah. question for andre going back to what you were talking about before we slipped over into this part like let's just say for the sake of devil's advocate here um elon musk were to get involved with this disney situation yeah it, would it really even take five or so other people to get to get him to kind of turn? Let's say if he were to talk to oh George Lucas and the widow of uh, um, Jobs. Well, that's what I mean. That's that's what I mean. Jobs. He, what he, yeah. what he needs to go. He needs to go and find someone else who is dis disenfranchised and uh, who is not happy with the way that Disney is doing right now. It's someone with uh, sizable shareholdings. For instance, those, I, but I don't know. It maybe I you got to them first or something that I really don't know. But right, I mean, but, yeah, okay, I could see like Jobs' but, but, widow. Let's take her off the table. But Lucas, he's got more than enough reason to be like. Well, for instance, okay. yeah, for instance, say that, uh, say for instance that Lucas is so so unhappy that he actually could be convinced to to let go of his shares, uh, or. That would, if he's so inclined, he should just go with Perlmutter right away. It wouldn't be necessary, and that he hasn't done that suggests right. that maybe he's still pro Iger. Good point. They might want to go with someone else, but he's if he's like able to find like, I don't have like a detailed list of Disney shareholders, but let's just say someone like George Lucas or some other mm. company that's decided, you know what, we don't believe in this anymore. The Disney share price is now what? Well, just say it's like ninety five. Uh, 95, uh, 95, yeah. And uh, Musk were to say, you know what, I'll buy your entire holding at 105 a pop right now. Given an offer that he can't mm. refuse, basically, could see that the way things are going right now, this probably ain't going to, to get any better anytime soon. Let's just take this money and get out of here. He needs to find someone like that, and that way. Them, he can get a substantial amount of shares it's enough that uh, yeah you can take it to the shareholders and uh, and he's going to be among them but here's like the trick the only disney shares that he can buy are the ones which are available for him to buy it's not enough to mm. just go and buy like the ones that are 
being randomly traded on a day-to-day -day basis. No, he needs to go and buy the complete portfolio from big established shareholders right now in order to have like a big, a big impact. Could he do that? Yeah, he could. So I'm sincerely hoping that there's some talk between parties right now. And that would be like, mm. that would be advantages for, um, for, for Elon Musk. I can see many synergies there. If he were to have like a, a seat on the board himself, perhaps, then maybe he could have Disney advertise on Twitter again. There would be nothing wrong with that. There would be nothing illegal in that. If he were to fix it uh, or uh, contribute towards fixing it, then he could use that for, for more like free speech, what have you. I mean, I see only mm. positive synergies to be had from, from him going on to Disney. But again, this is just wishful thinking right now. We don't know what's yeah, happening. Yeah. I would be surprised if this hasn't occurred to them that between Pelt, Perlmutter, and Musk, there's common ground and interest to be had there. Mm, yeah. Well, I think, you know, sort of bringing it a little bit back to the immediate, where do we see this going just right now? I mean, this, them taking it to the shareholders is a pretty big deal, right? I mean, that's it's a very big deal. And that's massive. obviously why, why Iger is trying to change the constitution of the shareholders by having mm. his friends and companies loyal to him and to the ESG mm. costs buy up more because they're going to be supporting him and the destruction of Disney. Because all the people that are supporting are buying up more shares now on his behalf. They don't want to see Disney restored. They don't care mm. about the fair price. They care about the message and the agenda. And they want that to, to continue. Yeah. Uh, culture, we haven't heard from you. haven't heard from Nick or, or Tom. Well, Tom, but... I, look, my thoughts on this are this is a very dangerous time for Iger. I agree with Andre. They are packing the board. The people that they've elected to pack the board with are very questionable when it comes to the fact that um, one of them uh, is a Stanley uh, Morgan Stanley person that's going to actually be determining the value of Hulu, which is very strange. Um, you know that that person's now on your board. You know, with you guys actually being one of the people. That's all kinds of corrupt, right there. Actually, it is, and. I mean, the level of corruption that Disney's been involved in for a long time under Iger's leadership is this. That's not something that people talk about enough, considering that financially they should be uh, they're facing not only uh, issues with the SEC and DOJ mm. um, that, you know, that that investigation is still open, but it hasn't moved forward. That that looks at what they they overstated revenue, uh, you know, in, in at, for a long, long time. Uh, they had to settle with that woman, by the way, um, after she was put in a position where her husband decided to, you know, self delete. That's a whole other conversation. But you, you're looking at you're looking at a very dangerous time because if they are, if you get a cadre of billionaires that are just pissed off enough at Disney, it doesn't well, matter. Money, how he's spe the uh, but he's speaking. He's speaking to what they care about. Money. So like you've lost seventy billion in value. I mean. You want I mean, to keep that going? The company, the company's worth uh, market caps right now. I think about 180 billion or 179 or somewhere in there, right? Mm. The price actually of the stock has started to descend again. Finally, uh, it's still way too high. But again, you get somebody like Elon interested or whatever, and they can take the they can take the stock price to the mountaintop. But it doesn't matter if all those mm. stockholders all of a sudden have so much power, and if they decide to you know not vote for the slate that you know. <clears throat> they want to impanel the next time around ball game over. We are officially in a proxy war, which is why I put the stinger together the way that I did it. This is a proxy. Mm. This, this is, this happened. This, this intention stated it's going to happen. And, you know, if all they have to do is pony up a couple other people, I mean, Tom made suggestions in, you know, the, the, you know, Pixar money, the, the jobs widow, the, um, the Lucas, Lucas film, whatever he's got left, George has left. Um, all of that's quite possible. In fact, I think the jobs money went to his daughter, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That, uh, but mm. I can, but I'm, I look that, at all how, this. But how crazy woke is she? Because she's someone that's grown up there. She may not. She may be very happy with what they're doing. It's quite possible. But I yeah. mean, you know, I, I look at those numbers and then I think about it, the fact that as a corporate officer, Iger owns a considerable portion of stock, but nothing the equivalent of which the you know everybody else around him owns. 
if 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 you if you were able to possibly oust even Iger and everybody around him, including that woke board from hell, um, you you theoretically could work your way to a point where you could privatize Disney again with all of its holdings, which would be remarkable. Yeah, any company can yeah. be privatized. It's going to be a challenge though, because in order to do that, you would have to buy out State Street, Vanguard, yeah. and BlockRock. Those are the three. And yep. you'd have to get the get the their holdings, and they may not want to let them go. Uh, and also, I, I don't know the size of their holdings because, like, at a certain point, if you get more than you are leave, then the others whoever yeah. remains will be legally required to sell off their remaining shares. Indeed, but I think that uh, mm. between the three of them. They own so much that that is not possible. There is no way that you that you will be able to get enough of the shares that like that clause is triggered. Right, but that's not. And again, I'm I'm not. I just was venturing an idea. The the one yeah. that I'm most concerned about, or they should be most concerned about, is if you have a participation by all these billionaires in this idea to have this proxy war. And let's say you get somebody like Elon Musk or whoever to go along with. Mm. Um, Nelson Peltz and Ike Perlmutter and several other large shareholders that are already lining up behind um, Peltz, it, you, you get more people participating in that. If Disney doesn't deliver during the course, imagine if all those people just dumped their stock all at once. Mm, that'd be yeah. devastating for them. 